whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I can make it all. Prince in the kitchen, Prince in the kitchen, the best Jamaican cuisine. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, she can make it all. Prince in the kitchen. Prince in the kitchen, the best Jamaican cuisine. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to Prince in the Kitchen. In today's video, we will making we will making some steamed fish. So, guys. Let's go straight into it. I'm gonna show you how I prepared my vegetable for my steamed fish soup. This is some carrot. I'll be using some carrot today. I'm gonna cut my carrot like this. Yes, guys, cutting my carrot to put in my steamed fish. Cutting my carrot like this. You see, we like to cut a hole, like a hole at a time. So that's what happened. No, but I don't want one piece, so I'm cutting up some carrot to put in my steamed fish. This is a carrot for a steamed fish here, guys. Also, I'll be doing putting a bit of chocho into the steamed fish. So, so guys, I'll be cutting up my chocho to put in my steamed fish, and I'm gonna slice my chocho like this to put in my steamed fish today. And you guys, this fish was the same fish. I don't know if you didn't see the video from the previous um, roast fish. Basically the same step, but you can cut the seed the vegetable a little bit different. And with this, now we have some scallion. And you know you don't cut the scallion like you doing it for the roast fish. So you can do it like a soup style scallion. So you have your skeleton over here guys and we're also having some onion in our steamed fish today so we're cutting up our onions in our steamed fish we also have some sweet pepper here bell pepper in other words so we're chopping up our bell pepper for our home steamed fish today and our steamed fish is gonna be the same green tail snapper from the roast fish because I can tell you guys those green tail snappers really really delicious. Over here we have a whole scotch bonnet pepper, so we're gonna cut up our pepper as well. You know you have a little you have a little kind of peppery taste. Not too peppery, but you know, and we have some garlic over here. Now we're gonna pass our garlic here with a knife, hang up our knife, ready for ready to put in our steamed fish over here, guys. We also have the good old, the good old up row. So, here, guys, let's cut out the top. Because I said to you before, I cut the top off. I don't really um cut the bottom off. So cut the power off. Cut the power off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice soft okra. And today we'll set the side for this steam fish. It's gonna be some turn corn meal. Yeah, but I'm not gonna show you today how I do the cornmeal because if you want you can uh, return to some previous video that I have curry cornmeal with curry chicken so you can go there have a look how we do our turn cornmeal yes guys and the good old pumpkin you can have steamed fish guys without pumpkin so Making some nice little cut here. Yes, guys, some nice little slice here. And this pumpkin is really, very nice. Really, really nice. Pumpkin. 
came out here. I don't know what fish was washed and cleaned. Washed with lime juice, as I said in the previous. The same fish from the previous video with the um, roast fish. So all of this is ready up for our steel fish. Guys, have a look on the steel here. Just have a look and the board. Ready, ready, ready for our steam fish. And in the steam fish, guys, also gonna put a little bit of yellow yam. But what I do is kind of scull off the yellow yam and then we put it in. And we have our thyme, a bungalow thyme over here. Isn't this color amazing? Looking real good. Looking superb. Rolling. And we're gonna put a little garlic right there with a bit of pepper. Just a little bit of oil to spice it up somehow. Mm, not gonna let it burn. So that is spicy it up. And we're also ready to add in this dish here we have our carrot and our torch. Amazing steam fish today. Then you know, I have to saute them a little bit. You know, and, and you know the fish don't take a long time to cook. Steam fish just about eight or ten minutes, and our steam fish is ready. So we have to get these sauteed and quarter we cook for that anything. And still see. Very nice, delicious steamed fish here, guys. Today. And guys, as I said to you in the previous video, never have the, um, the green tail snapper before, but it is quite good. If you guys should try it, quite, quite, you miss nothing from the regular snapper. Quite, quite, quite good. Really good. I'm going to add our okra. Add this in and then put in some okra. Add in the okra. And we're also going to add some pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And a big shout out today, guys, for Mr. Karen, our cameraman, Mr. Whistle. He claimed that he's the best Fortnite player in Jamaica. So you can check him out, guys, on Instagram. Mr. Whistle. He's a cameraman. He's a man of great magic. The biggest videos. That's Mr. Isaiah. Okay, this is in preparation for our fish, guys. Oh, we can do. Yeah. Soon come back with a stop. So. I'm gonna turn the stove down real low and cover it and I'll come back with the stock. I'm ready to make the stock for our steamed fish. So in this I have some Maggi pumpkin. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of Maggi on purpose in this guys. And then I'm gonna put a little lime juice. A little vinegar first then try the vinegar first because I'm gonna be vinegar. Vinegar and lime and steamed fish goes very well and some lemon juice. Yeah. Lemon juice goes well with um steamed fish as well, guys. And this is how muddy fish. Just one of this one of them. So I'll put some muddy fish in this. And in this now, guys, I'm gonna add some water to this stuff here for our green steam fish. I'm gonna go ahead guys and show this water this stuff here in the pot with the veggie. 
and I also gonna add a little, how oh, could I forget, a little bit of Mr. Stash, how oh, could I forget a little bit of Mr. Stash in my thing here, how could I forget Mr. Stash, so here, so time to add our stuff guys, yeah, so this amazing vegetable here, As you can see in this dish, we have the thyme, we have the scallion, we have the onion, we have the pepper, we also have some more garlic in this. So, we're gonna add it as you can in this pot there. So, guys, it's time for us to add in our fish. And we're going to add in our fish here, our yellow tail cinnamon for here. <laughs> that yellow tail, guys, green tail cinnamon. <laughs> oh, how could I say that about our my beautiful green tail cinnamon? So, add in our green tail cinnamon here. And we're going to add in head and tail. Look at this beautiful. Oh, this is, this one is so beautiful and nice and big. Yeah, guys. Wow. Come on, if we're having a space. But, you know, we're going to add in the next one here. Head and tail. Head and tail, guys. Right? Head and tail. Mm -hmm. Head and tail. And also, guys. We're gonna add in our margarine in this dish here. Nice margarine in this dish here, guys. Steamed fish and a crust and pumpkin. And so we have to put some more. We have to put some more liquid, guys. In this thing here, I have to put some more liquid in it. Mm -hmm. And then I told you that I'm some pimento seed here. And as I told you that I did have some from yellow yam that I really blanch it to put in the steamed fish. But that can go in as soon as the um it start boiling up so I will be coming back to show you the progress of our fish here. Oh gosh look at that so about, after about eight minutes guys I come right back to show you our amazing steam fish so you see you can't even see the fish now guys in the pot but we're gonna use a little bit of spray with the stock and cover up the fish Search for it and cover it up. So, as I told you, we did have some yellow yam sitting there, guys. I also added to the pot, and now I'm gonna add a final seasoning like some chopped, some chopped tomatoes, some more sweet pepper, and some chopped onions. Uh, gosh, guys, so this gonna simmer now for the next two minutes so then two minutes and then will be time to turn off our stove so you see the lovely pumpkin the carrot the okra the chocha the yellow yam and our lovely sweet pepper garlic Time scotch bonnet and all of those lovely stuff in the car. So guys, cover this up for the next two minutes. Eh? So you are beautiful, wonderful, amazing cinnamon here. The green pale cinnamon in the pack that bubble up, bubble up. 
sometimes I like a taste guy. Let me taste it and tell you how. Ready, ready, ready. Guys, I wish I could have a taste of this. And remember, guys, in the previous video, we did make some picked up pepper sauce. Some of it coming to play today. And I like a bit to the steam fish here. Guys. See it here? See our steam fish here? Ready, 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 ready. Wow, look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at this. So amazing YouTube supporters. This is what our amazing fish, steam fish, is ready. And this is what it is looking like, guys. Ready to serve. Ready, ready to serve, guys. Thanks for spending time with me in the kitchen. Amazing supporters. Thanks for spending time. Final dish. And this is our amazing steamed fish. Ready to devour. It nutritious. It delicious. It nice. So guys, with our side dish, our beautiful turn corn meal. So guys, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.